Shane and Nick Diaz, and Darren Till. All right, so here he is, the ubiquitous Nick Diaz. It's hard to quantify his contribution to mixed martial arts. I will just lead by saying that this man brought a lot of fans into this sport, and when he fights, the building's still packed to the nuts. Yes, absolutely. Nick Diaz has a fan base that will follow him through anything, and rightfully so. He won the Strike Force Welterweight Championship, defended it in a ton of crazy fights, knocking out Paul Daly, knocking out Marius Zoromskis, yeah. and then coming back to the UFC and getting wins over PJ Penn fight George St. Pierre, and then also sharing the octagon with Anderson Silva. So it was only big fights for Nick Diaz because he was such a star in such a draw. And sometimes people lose sight of just how good he was in his prime. 2008 to 2011, Nick Diaz won 11 consecutive fights. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Diaz is 10 years his senior. He will have a two inch reach advantage. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Liverpool, England, Darren Till. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Stockton, California, Nick Diaz! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Mission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get right. back to his feet. And quickly. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're going to find yourself tapping and really wondering why. Why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submissionist on us, huh? Ah, it's crazy. Oh, that's gonna soften him up. Massive knee to the body. 
Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Oh, Hill gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Head kick there blocked by Till. Single collar tie now. Caught that kick there. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Wow, what a head kick. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Darren Till with style points there. Man, every time this guy lands DC, you're hearing the news in the Austin. Oh, nice. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Darren Till. <laughs> lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Big body kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And that one was heavy. Oh, straight right. Whoa! Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here in DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control. The grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know no when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Final seconds here. That's a big strike right there. Oh, nice elbow there in the clinch. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Here we are, early round two. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny doesn't. It doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Just missed with the left there. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Diaz. Not there. Nice stick with the right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice stick with the right hand. Both guys really throwing with authority. Beautiful straight punch there by Darren Till. Takedown defense holds up. Hill gets caught by that straight hand. He's throwing every part of himself. It's hitting big leg kicks. Three minutes now to go in round two. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. The right hand just misses. Body kick now by Darren Till. Nice stick with the right hand. Till's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. As effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. They separate. 
just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, the numbers continue to pile up. 54 total strikes have landed for Darren Till. The accuracy rate, 32% against Darren Till. Beautiful strike. And they separate. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Twenty seconds to go. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too. Because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. Very in a lot of trouble. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice stick with the right hand. Big kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Still unable to find that precise range. For that. Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Nice punch lands. How about that shin? Stuff to take down, no problem. And there comes the separation now. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Muay Thai plump. Oh, Till gets caught by that straight punch there. Well timed knee to the body. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, Till gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is that's the biggest shot in the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Diaz. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Hill's lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that, but a lot of damage absorbed by me in here tonight. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Ready? Ready? 
All right, here's round four, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Well, eventually you know he's gonna turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defense. Huge strike lands there, somehow his opponent stayed up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Down there, how good is his takedown defense? Ooh, what a punch. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions. What a connection right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Oh, Turn him up. Go get him. So, fire a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. All right, so let us see who has enough left to finish this fight. I'm looking at two fighters who are on the verge of gassing out. I mean, they have done everything in their power to finish this fight, but their opponents are so tough that they find themselves very late in both asking the question, how do I get this done? Hill gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. And right there, his opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. So here we go, the crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecard will not be needed. If we continue to fight, there's a little shot. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Diaz. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his... <laughs> on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly. 
Under three minutes now to go round five. Nice leg kick land. Get right here. Oh, color time. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Seconds remain in the round. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Final 10 seconds of the fight. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Nick Diaz! All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting the victory. You should be very proud of this performance.